Hello everyone, um, welcome back to another tutorial on Coca. Um, this one is a complement for the last video about the compare feature of Coca. Um, in that video, I only show you how you can contrast collocational preferences of two words, while in fact, um, in the other video, I also mentioned that you could compare collocational preferences of phrases using the compare feature, and I forgot to uh, illustrate that in the last video. So. This is video uh, for you to do that. Um, before we move to the real world, um, I would like to talk a bit about uh, the related idea of our task in comparing collocates of phrases. Yeah? Uh, in corpus linguistics, there is this idea, namely collocational framework, which is an approach that you could use to investigate grammar of language from corpus linguistics perspective. And Collocational framework consists of these continuous sequences of words, and these sequences of words uh, contain two function words and one intervening content words. So these are uh, two examples that I took from this chapter by Anatol Stefanovic and Stefan Gris. Um, yeah, these are collocational framework because you have sequences of words, uninterrupted or discontinuous sequences of words that uh, have um, two function words okay and one intervening content words i mean i mean one in its uh, phrase yeah and the content words are not specified uh, lexically they are just given their uh, part of speech okay the the part of speech category the word classes and by rule by looking at just this uh, schema or this pattern you can just insert any noun into this slot okay and any adjective that you know in english language into this slot okay that's by rule however uh, corpus linguists studying such kind of uh, collocational framework uh, found out that this kind of uh, collocational framework or phrases as you would like to call it they attract uh, non-random words that form certain restricted semantic classes okay for instance the a and of pattern uh, uh, the predominant i mean the among the top noun the top nouns yeah the top nouns that can fill that noun slots most of them are um, quantity nouns such as lot number couple bit okay range path and this uh, findings make corpus linguis propose an idea that such kind of collocational frameworks or multiple expression of phrases should be viewed as uh, a linguistic unit in their own right okay so they have their own representation in the uh, cognitive repertoire or linguistic repertoire of a speaker of english in this case and this reflects the idea of idiom principle in language that is proposed also by corpus linguis uh, and this principle um, suggests that speakers can have access to many a yeah, large number of uh, this kind of uh, linguistic unit multi word expressions that is called semi preconstructed phrases and they have yeah, speakers have access to large number of this in their linguistic repertoire that they can use uh, for expressing certain uh, ideas such as uh, quantifying expression okay um, and this principle extend the idea of idiom not only to capture uh, linguistic expression that is idiosyncratic in their meaning and in their form but also forms such as these phrases that you can analyze into their part yeah? you know there is article there is noun uh, and preposition. Yeah, they are analyzable into parts, and also their their component parts uh, have their own meaning. But they are just so frequent and attracting certain classes of words that people use as a chunk, as one unit, to convey a certain idea. Okay. And with that, we will go to what we are going to do. So we will explore collocational framework not in a strict sense of having the intervening content words in the middle of the phrase but we still explore phrases with one empty slot but should be to the left or to the right of the phrases and this to accommodate the 
architecture of the compare feature in Coca, where you can only contrast collocates of words where the collocates can either occur to the right or to the left of the words. Yeah, so we will do the same with phrases here. But um, if you want uh, to look at what are the adjectives that uh, typically fill this uh, frame, you could do that in the list feature uh, when you combine uh, part of speech search with this specific word uh, search. Okay, okay. Um, let's go to Coca. Um, yeah, I have get that ready. Um, so um, you type in. You should go to this tab uh, feature. Yeah, compare tab feature. Um, so type in the phrase in the word field. Yeah, even though it is word one and word two, but you can type in a phrase and select the uh, part of speech uh, level from this drop-down menu and yeah because we want to get the noun after the phrases so this should be highlighted yeah the span to the right of the node word or the node phrase and i will try to capture two uh, span yeah whether at least within two words to the right of the phrase um yeah and okay i will try to limit to by clicking here sort slash limit i will limit the minimum frequency of the noun to occur with at least uh, phrase number one to be five tokens just try to capture more data okay and i hope this works click compare words and coca will give you the result okay um yeah okay and at least we see that um, from this table, these words, for instance, they nearly only occur with at the center of, but never with um, at the heart of. Yeah, at the center of and at the heart of uh, similarly convey the idea of centrality, but this use metaphorical expression with body part, and this is more of thing literal expression. Yeah, same with at the heart of it attracts certain uh, words that can occur with them with it i mean and zero occurrences of these words with at the center of well this should be uh, too small frequency but well in comparison to zero this is something um, and yeah you can click on this number to see how it is used in context yeah in keyword in context display I will not do that here um, now, but you could yeah, just click here and you will be directed to the keyword in context display. Um, okay, so for the other pattern, namely the growth in and price in, okay, you should um, select the other uh, word class, namely adjective, and because we explore it to the left. Yeah, to the left of the phrase, we need to highlight this left span. Okay, um, let's go with one. Let's see whether it is too restricted or not, but I just want to know. Okay, uh, click compare word, and I will just leave this as it is. Compare word. I hope. Okay, um, yeah. So these are all adjectives that are relevant to growth in and rise in yeah these two phrases express the concept of increase in different way i think this is more metaphorical yeah growth like a plant like a human and this is just um vertical motion okay um all right now we see that um yeah this zero occurrence means that these words this adjective never occur never be found uh with this pattern in this corpus and they just form single choice to be used with this, okay? Um, and yeah, so if we look at the top collocate economic, it is a domain adjective, yeah, topical adjective, it's about economy. And if you look at this uh, adjective in price in pattern, steep, sharp, uh, alarming, slight, precipitous, drastic, disturbing, abrupt, sudden, um, concurrent, okay, troubling, and so on. 
they are all quality adjectives, okay? Adjectives that describe the quality of how something uh, um, increases, okay? But this one such as economic and then urban, personal and what else? spiritual, bacterial, um, what else? Residential, professional, and academic. Okay, uh, they are uh, could be they could be considered as a domain adjective or topical adjective. But what what domain is increasing? Maybe yeah. Even though you would still find uh, quality adjectives such as uh, sluggish growth, yeah, slow increase, robust, um, negative, okay, um, stronger. But even though it attracts uh, quality adjective as well, you see that this quality adjective prefer this pattern comparison to the other, yeah, with their zero occurrences in this uh, pattern number two. So this again reflect the idea of idiom principle where you have just a uh, single choice of semi pre-constructed phrases that you use to convey certain idea. Okay, um, yeah, and if you want to compare or look at the adjective of this uh, pattern, you could go to the um, list feature and you can type in the usual search a combination of uh, uh, specific words and part of speech uh, two adjective to uh, let's see verb infinitive okay we want just lexical infinitive verb and we can just hit find matching string and just hit this whether it gives okay when you compare two words or phrases they both need to have the same number of words oh um, I think they confuse with this let's um, set yeah let's do that again and objective to okay um, so we are already in the list feature I hope Coca doesn't complain and find it in stream yeah okay so too big to fail yeah these are all uh, patterns or types that exemplify this collocational framework okay and yeah, you can do this in, in the list feature, okay? Too young to die, too hard to find, too big to fail. All right, um, yeah, I think that's it uh, for today. And I hope this could be useful. And if you have questions, you could email me and I will try to answer your question. Thank you and bye-bye.